guys, this is a quick video for Jason Dubin who lives in Brooklyn, New York in the United States. Uh, he's really interested in buying my mate's uh, Alaveda, um, which is an aluminium uh, Velimobile. Um, she's going at a really good price and uh, he asked me if I could do a, a quick uh, vlog uh, a little test of it, test ride and just um, show him what the Velimobile, uh, what a Velimobile looks like in the flesh which I have done and um, hopefully it turns out alright so just a quick uh, vlog for Jason really um, here you go Jason, enjoy so what do you say? Let's go inside and uh, make us a deal. Well, can I take on a test drive first? Yeah, that's super cool. And then there's the uh, main beam. And it all moves. Brilliant. And the... Uh, that's got a horn as well. Yeah. And the and indicators of work. What's it called? Alo 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 Aloveda. Alo 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 uh, Aloveda. See it be cool. There's, uh, let's drag it out. there's Barry's Barry's uh I was gonna say Barry's baby, but he's 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 getting a divorce. <laughs> <laughs> She's might be going to a new home in the States, which would be cool. As you can see why I need to get rid of it. Yeah, it's just taking up too much. Well I haven't got space here until I've got nowhere to park it at work. Yeah. My garage has loads of room. There'll be a stuck. And then uh Oh the back lights the back lights on. We've got brake brakes. Lights. Mm. It works, yeah. And uh yeah, it should be is that the running lights as well? Yeah, you've got running light on, brake, running lights, got brake lights, brake lights. And then the indicators are on the top as well. Has it got indicators as well? Yeah. Oh wicked. And on the sides and at the front as well. Brilliant. There's indicators all, all the way around. If it's too much in the sun for the yeah oh, to see everything. Hey Jason, this is it. So all the electrics you can see then they all work. There's a few little scratches here, but nothing substantial. Electrics. And then the seat. Is that you your flip, adjuster? Yeah, you flip this up. And then you've got all the luggage oh. space in the back. Oh, wow. Super cubby hill. Got drinks holder. <laughs> drinks holder. Oh, there is, yeah, sorry. I mean, what the fuck are you on about? I mean, what the fuck are you on about? Brilliant. <laughs> That's pretty, pretty cool. I'll just take the electric on. Um, Let's see, see, that's your lights and stuff. Yeah, so. I never remember which way around they yeah. are as well. And the seat, you can adjust it by the, the bolts underneath. You can uh -huh. move it all the way forward and back. Okay. But if you adjust the where the seat's positions forwards and back, you might have to change the length of these. Okay. Um, and this is just a horn or something? No, that's, that's the indicators yep. and the horn. Yeah. The electrics are off now. Gears are there. Uh, all the gears, the brakes. Steering's the same pretty much. Yeah, it's just the same as the yep. Quest and whatever. And our oh, handbrake is, you pull the brake. That's the same as mine, same as the Quest. And then, so you've got a handbrake there. Cool, man. You wanna, do you wanna give it a go? I suppose I should take it for a whiz round. Yeah, actually, if you lift, do you wanna lift the back end up? And I'll put it, I'll gear it down. I suppose because you're a short ass, it would be a. Yeah. I'll still be able to ride it. Alright. So, Jason, the there's the bike. Go slow round so you can see everything. There's a few little marks which I think you could most probably. There's sweat stains. Yeah. Just like surface corrosion, which. Uh, you bet you're going to get. out with the buffer. This was actually matte aluminium when Martin got it and then it's all been polished. Okay, so he's so it was plain aluminium. He's jazzed um, it up. But it was polished up to a mirror finish. It's cool though, isn't it? I quite like the old riveted jobby. What's that look? I'll quickly throw the rain cover on so you can see that as well. Yeah. Um, so we stick for it. Inside. So it goes. 
and then it's ingenious. It's just like a kite. Yeah. Put your tent up. <laughs> <laughs> And then the top bits. God, that's quite um, close, isn't it? What's that? The derailleur. Oh, to the tyre? Yeah. It's a fat tyre. Ah, that's why. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're right. All right. No, no, no. Try to get rid of it. <laughs> It's going. I've got no space. Well, that's always the problem, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, there should be a car in there. Yeah, I know. But... It's always called a garage. Yeah. <laughs> See you later. Take care. Yeah, so that all unzips. You can like, fold the flaps out of the way, whatever you yeah. get in and out easy. Brilliant. Ah. So it's pretty, is it? Obviously a lot easier to get in than your quest and Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. more open. But in the summer that that's what I like about it, is you can have an open bathtub. It's nice. I'm gonna take it for a whiz. Yeah, go for it. Fill your boots. I think I can just put it like that. The brakes on, isn't it? Yeah, the hand brakes on. I'll just close it. So what's the technique to getting in? Stand on the cross bit? You can stand on the seat, you want solid. Because they're all different, aren't they? Yeah, usually you stand on the cross piece, but you can stand on the seat and you can even stand on the sides. This should be up there. Oh, well, there is the. Well, I'm in. <laughs> and I put I put those pedals on so that anybody can give it a go. Wow, you've got some big chain ring on the back. Sorry? Massive chain ring on the front. I think it's a 72. Awesome. Because like that. that's what he was using it for racing. Wow. I don't think I'm going to be able to pedal much. <laughs> Help! <laughs> How am I going to do this? Give it a go anyway. All right, I'm a bit tall for this. <laughs> I feel like Metal Mickey. <laughs> right, we're off. Let's give it a go. <sighs> right, as you can see, I'm too tall for it. Then the boom needs to slide away. But, oh, it runs nice. Um, try and change up. Wow, the brakes are super, super sharp, which is good. Much better than my wow. This is the elevator. Um, the indicators should be on. Okay, so I'm in an elevator or all weather and uh, test driving this machine for Jason Dubin because uh, he's interested in purchasing it. Cheers, mate. And uh, it's good, it's absolutely fine. I wish that it was my length so I could actually go faster. My long legs are catching on the lip there, on the metal lip, so it's quite tricky at the moment, so we'll see. But this is the beast.
it's a quite unusual position. You're really upright in it. I feel like I'm sitting in the bath, as Barry just said. It's like you're in a bathtub, which is really cool. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, so Jason, um, a few little marks on the body, which is just from the aluminium, I think, just wear weather, the weather corroding it a bit. That is it. There's a few little marks on here, which, if you can see, there you go, you've got that on both sides of that back hatch. It's just from the weather. Um, you've got a few, they look like uh, fingerprints, but that's just corrosion of the aluminium panels. But other than that, superficial. Runs really okay. nice. The brakes are blooming loads better than the wow. Yeah, I uh, think they could do with tweaking uh, because I think... It pulls to the left a little bit, yeah. but other than that, yeah, yeah it's um, just the brake bias. But John showed me how to do that, you just twist yeah, the thing. And things, things that I would point out yeah. is there was a charging socket there. Okay. Which somebody had taken out, so that there is actually a hole there which I've put tape over. Okay, yeah. So you could either block that with a grommet or put a hydration hose, I don't know, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Drink, and drink there's a couple of drill holes behind each of these bits of tape yep. where Martin had had a, a, hoodie. a hood on the top okay which I haven't pot riveted them I just put tape on them because I don't want to yeah mess with it too much um the back he had cut this out right and some of the shelf inside yeah to put in a 26 inch wheel okay different gearing and so I've now I then put in this piece of aluminium so I shaped a bit of aluminium and repot riveted that in yeah and also a panel in the in the shelf inside okay. yeah um, basically it was butchered yeah and, you've, you've, and I've unbutchered it yeah you've, as best as as best as can be yeah. and I mean well you got to take it for what it is really yeah um, yeah it looks good Right, I think so maybe the bottom bracket probably needs adjusting um, yeah. maybe tightening the bearings uh, yeah. I think it maybe creaks a little bit yeah did you notice that or not? not at all no, well I couldn't hardly pedal my knees were hitting <laughs> so, uh, no I, well, I'm so short my legs are so short so I know you were struggling yours, I had yeah. them up here somewhere that's why I couldn't reach your pedals in yeah. the wow yeah. I couldn't pedal I, I went down the end of the road and spun around but I had to twist my knees outwards yeah. where there's a bit more space in those hoops Oh, the, this, this bit of wood is the is the handbrake. <laughs> <laughs> drag brake. Drag brake. No. Um, oh, brilliant. It's got. I don't know what it originally had, mm -hmm. but it was upgraded with Vethermobile NL um, shocks. Yeah. And 90 millimeter. That's why the brakes. That's why the. Has it got 90 mil on there? 90 millimeter. Sturmy that's why the brakes are like the quests. And then you. That's all new. That's um, why I touched it and I nearly skidded. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? <laughs> and I was like, these brakes are awesome. Much better than the wow. I've got 70s on that thing. Which Do you want to roll it so you can see the bottom of it? Why not? Yeah, so, I mean, I'd rather be completely open yeah. and honest, you know. It's, um, that's how I, I, so you've got these few little marks here, which you can hopefully see. You on, see? Yeah, you can see those. Which I don't know whether you can use that stuff we use on trumpets, you know, when you polish. Would that work on it? Uh, or? It just need it needs buffing out. Okay. Um, it's basically I, I think that was down to Andy. Yeah. And he um, he sweat all over it, but never wiped it off. And it's, it's and obviously it's raw aluminium. It's all that acid. There we go. So there's the bottom. And you can see the big stermies there as well. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> awesome. Absolutely fine. And there's a bit of um I don't even know the chain tube glue, around under there. Yeah, there's glue on the bottom. Yeah. But somebody actually glued a a thing over the footwells. Yeah. I think that it, was for racing. Makes again, it more aero, yeah. yeah. But Well, some rear end there. Yeah, and you it? can probably see you can see where I've replaced the shelf inside and it's sealed silicone sealed as wow, well. Look at the shock. Huge. It's quite good at it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you've Maybe put a narrower tyre on, Jason. Definitely. 
take the, that away from the derailleur. But yeah, I rode it and rides fine, so that's all good. It's just whether you like so the it. The bottom was never polished, only the sides and the top. Yeah. And I think the front wheels obviously were new when they did the um, yeah. the Sturmies and the, the, I don't even know if you can see them. Yeah, the, the Velimobile yeah. NL shocks, shocks as, as well. well. Yeah. So they're the same shocks as is on the Quest? Yeah, exactly the same as what I've got on the WoW as well. Because the WoW uses uh, yeah. Velimobile NL struts and yeah. steering rods. So they're all related. I think maybe the DF doesn't. Yeah. Though. But I think probably, you know, cool. it's not it's not perfect. But no. I think for for that sort of price, it's actually a pretty good bargain. Yeah, yeah, there you go. yeah, yeah. It's a fully working Velomobile, not too shabby. Um, the seat, I don't know whether that was one that was made with it. It's a wooden one. Yeah, um, they've cut them bit back out to make it lighter. Yeah, but you know. It's all pretty, uh, pretty much good. Awesome. That should do it. I think that should do him. Yeah.